And I'm listening to the launch in this ear. I'm listening to you in this ear. You just saw that there, the launch of the Boeing Starliner in its orbital flight test number two, taking off from Earth, launching from Florida atop an Atlas V rocket. This just in, uh, we heard that Miko happened, which is main engine cutoff, which means that the Starliner is officially in space, in orbit. This is a flight test that is meant Three, to prove two. that this Starliner can successfully operate in a safe manner to launch, rendezvous, dock, undock, and head back to Earth without any major issues. This is the critical step before its next one, which would be to test the vehicle with people on board. And, uh, you know, this vehicle here has actually uh, a mannequin dummy on there. Rosie the Rocketeer is on board in the commander seat attached with sensors to bring this data, a tribute to the attitude and strength and inspiration of the World War II cultural icon. For the launch, though, so far, so good. Again, we heard Miko happen, main engine cutoff, which means what will happen right after this is that Starliner will soon separate from the Centaur, which is that part of the rocket, and the Starliner's engines itself will orient the spacecraft into orbit to rendezvous and meet up with the ISS, where it will dock tomorrow at 6.10 Houston time tomorrow evening. Eventually, after a few days, it will come back down to Earth and that will complete the test. Boeing engineers will be looking at the data and to see how the spacecraft performed. NASA says this would be great for redundancy to have a second certified vehicle, the second provider other than SpaceX ferrying NASA astronauts back and forth from the ISS. So exciting news, guys. Everything so far sounds good.